what, got nothing to say? I'll just have to kill you then. Fine. <laughs> this isn't going to be as easy as you think. Well, come at me already. What, you're the only one that's gonna fight? Of course. Why not? I'm more than enough to handle you. This could work. If I can scrap even just Android 17, Cell won't get his perfect body. We might be evenly matched in power, but when it comes to stamina, you've lost. I've got infinite energy reserves, after all. <laughs> Cell! Damn it! I was so focused on the fight, I didn't realize he was on his way here. I'm so pleased that this day has finally come. The day I absorb Android 17 and 18 will be the day I achieve my ultimate form! What? You powered yourself up this much? Damn it. Just how many victims have you gone through? Victims? That is such a short-sighted perspective. I prefer to call them donors. They're the ones I have to thank for my power, after all. Get out of here right now! He's going to absorb you, Seventeen! What? Absorb me? What are you talking about? I'll make it simple. That there is Cell, a monster that was created by Dr. Giroux's computer. But apparently, is incomplete and needs to absorb you and Eighteen to achieve his final form. What? Rejoice, my fellow head. Once I have absorbed you, your energy will feed my rise to true perfection.
I will finally evolve into what Dr. Giro spent his life trying to achieve, the ultimate warrior! What are you talking about? You're looking at the ultimate warrior right here. Whether you desire it or not is irrelevant. You will be absorbed all the same. Having trouble shutting that mouth? Here, let me help. No! Get out of here, Seventeen! The enemy's power level far exceeds your own. <laughs> Jeez. You finally start talking. And you're just telling me to run away? Give me a break! Damn it! Uh, you're kidding me. Sil's power level is through the roof! That's it, isn't it? It's over. There's nothing we can do now. Krillin! Bulma's on the phone! Hello, Krillin? I figured it out! I know how to take the androids down! Wh really Yeah! Androids 17 and 18 are equipped with emergency shutdown circuits. If you can activate those to immobilize them, they'll be sitting ducks! And I've already made a remote control that can do that! Uh, thanks, Bulma! But can you bring that thing here? One step ahead of you. I'm already on my way and I'll be there soon. Awesome, you're the best! I'm going to go help Piccolo. I might not be able to do much, but it's better than doing nothing here. Your nose in? Wait, come back! There's nothing I can do. I feel so powerless. I sure do miss the days of being the world's greatest martial artist. So this is the remote control, huh? Remember, you need to be within about 10 yards for it to work. And that's not all. I've prepared battle outfits like Vegeta's for everyone. Goku and the guys could use those. They're at Kami's lookout. Could you take them there? Sure thing. Good luck, Krillin. Make sure you blow those androids to pieces. Blow them to pieces? Huh. <laughs> this freak's more powerful than I thought. You bore me. Are we done playing around? Get... With just one attack? I, I can't believe it. He's just too powerful. There's nothing I can do. It's hopeless. Maybe. Maybe we should try to get out of here while we can. You should leave. I will stay and destroy Cell. Stay behind and destroy Cell? Are you crazy? He'll kill you in an instant! You are good people. You did not harm innocent humans or animals. I have enjoyed our time together. Beast.
So, Sixteen was hiding this kind of power all along. No! You must leave this place. Hurry! He is still alive! You're joking, right? I'm not just gonna run away without giving that monster his just desserts. If anyone's gonna finish you off, it's me. Come on, show yourself! D Looking for me? Here I am. No! No! survive this. You're a fool if you think I'm just going to let you get away. My speed is even more impressive than I thought was possible, and I have Android 17 to thank for it. He wasn't a waste after all. Now, let's check my power, shall we? Don't worry, Android 18. I haven't forgotten about you. It's time to create perfection. <sighs> Neo Tri Beam! Ha! <sighs> what are you doing? Get out of here! That's enough! You must stop this now! You're gonna die if you keep firing tri-beams, Tien! Give up before it's too late and get out of there! <laughs> Hang in there, Tien! I'm on my way! Fools! I will not be stopped by a weak, pathetic fool like Tien! Goku... So you're Cell! Wait! That energy! Piccolo's still alive! I don't know what you're doing here, but I'm not letting you get away! Oh. 
Huh? How did he move that fast? There's no way around it. I'm no match for you, I know that. But give me just one day. Do it, and I'll give you a good fight. I promise you that. <laughs> You've got to be joking. What do you think that you could possibly accomplish in just one day? You gotta hang in there for me, you two. I'll get you guys some sensu beans once we're back at Kami's lookout. Leaving so soon? I don't think... <laughs> He's gone. That's an interesting technique Goku is using. When did he learn that, I wonder? As soon as I get my hands on Android 18, he will be of no concern. Now that pile of scrap 16 and her couldn't have gotten very far. Cell has reached untouchable levels of power. Nothing can stop him now. Hey! Everyone! Vegeta and Trunks are coming out of the hyperbolic time chamber! Really? Hey, everyone. Sorry for the wait. My father broke through the Super Saiyan barrier in about two months. But he still wouldn't... Trunks, that's enough now. Sounds like you did it, Vegeta. You could say that. You can go in next if you want to, but it would only be a waste of your time. I'm more than enough to clean up this mess. Cell and the androids don't stand a chance. Well, I went down and fought Cell myself. He's super strong now, a real monster. <laughs> You are. Krillin said you'd all be here. Huh? Wait, what's going on here? Trunks, is that you? Uh, yes. What's with your hair? Are you wearing a wig or something? There's... There's this room here where one year passes inside while just one day passes out here. Father and I were training in there. Oh. What the hell are you doing here, Bulma? Here. Vegeta's battle suit has great defensive properties. So, I made some for everyone. Whoa! This stuff's a lot lighter than it looks. Did you not hear me, Kakarot? Your services aren't required. Because you're gonna beat Cell, right? I heard ya. That's fine by me.
All right, Gohan. Time for some quality father-son training. Right. Be warned. Training in the chambers, no cakewalk, Gohan. Uh, I'm ready. Training to surpass Super Saiyan. Wow, it's nothing but white space. My body feels heavy, and it's so hot I can barely breathe. That's not all. This place is as big as the Earth itself. Get lost out there and you're a goner. Be careful. So, we're gonna spend a year in here? Let's get right into it. After all, it's not like we're here on vacation. First things first, we're gonna make you a Super Saiyan. Me? A, a Super Saiyan? I don't know if I have what it takes. Of course you do. Don't forget that you got Saiyan blood running through your whole body. All that said, any real type of training we need to do isn't gonna happen until you're a Super Saiyan. Aren't I just gonna waste your time and, and get in your way? Well, yeah, at first. But don't get me wrong, I'm planning on going completely beyond Super Saiyan when the time is right. I've got plans for you too. I want you to get even stronger than that. I know you can do it. What? Me? Stronger than you? Yep. If anyone can do that, it's you. Man, I, I hope I can. <laughs> Relax! It's gonna take some time, so no rush. We'll take it nice and slow at first. Now that's enough talking. Let's get warmed up. This may be just a warm up, but don't go easy on me, okay? Your techniques and movements are pretty great. I'm betting you've got Piccolo to thank for all that. <laughs> Guess that means we can move straight on to Super Saiyan training. What do you say? Yeah.
you right away, and that's okay. Me and Vegeta had to go through a lot before we got it. There's no need to rush, Gohan. Right. All right, time to be. I'm coming too. Very well. Huh? So, this is where Kakarot and the others waste their time. <laughs> Easy prey. Cell. Keep your hands off him. He's mine. <sighs> I don't see 18 anywhere. She's got to be hiding somewhere on one of these islands. Very well. Listen up, 18. You better make your presence known. If you don't, I'm going to start destroying these islands one at a time until I find you. So she won't come out. She's not making this easy. You, you're Vegeta. So, your cell. That's... Vegeta! And what is it that you think you're doing here? Don't tell me you think you can stop me! I didn't come here to stop you. I came here to tear you limb from limb! Tear me limb from limb, you? <laughs> That's hilarious! Oh, but I'm getting so tired of hearing you talk. <laughs> Take a good long look, Cell. I'm going to beat that stupid grin right off that annoying face of yours. Yeah! Prepare yourself! 
like I'm a little too much for you to handle now, aren't I? <laughs> How is this happening? You're Vegeta, right? I mean, Vegeta? Wrong. I am Super Vegeta! Oh, that power level is huge! Uh, amazing! So that's the new and improved Vegeta, huh? So, is Trunks that strong too? I don't see Goku or Gohan anywhere. Uh, it's the androids! They were here the whole time?! Cell, Vegeta, Trunks, they don't know they're here, do they?! I've got to be within 10 yards of them for the remote control to work. Uh, here goes nothing. You've used up all your power, and still you couldn't muster the strength to fight me. Very disappointing. Oh, this can't be... <laughs> this can't be happening! If, if I could only gain the energy I need to fight you with my perfect body! What's that? You actually think getting that perfect body of yours would be enough to defeat me? <laughs> of course! I wouldn't lose to the likes of you! Okay. Uh, now, I should be within 10 yards of them. Uh, I gotta make sure I shut 18 down, then destroy her. Otherwise, Cell's going to absorb her. Uh, this is my only shot. Better make it count. See ya. Emergency shutdown remote control. Why does he have that? Uh, sorry, Bulba. Huh? Go on, get out of here while you still can. Avoid cell and live your life. Why did you? Why did you destroy that? That was your only chance. It's. Uh... If I could achieve my perfect form. Power, speed, technique, intelligence. I would be perfect in every way. The computer told me as much. Is this true? Could achieving this perfect form of yours actually close the gap between us? How many times are you gonna make me repeat myself? You, you would have no hope of defeating me. At least not as you are right now. Hmm. Father, don't tell me you're... You say and say you're warriors through and through. I would think you'd want to at least test your mettle against my perfect form. Fine, I'll fall for your little ruse. Go ahead and get this perfect form you've been babbling on about. Go on! Father! <laughs> My father may be willing to let you go, but I'm not! Hey, Vegeta! Do something about this guy, would ya? Huh? It's 18. So she was hiding there the whole time. So close to perfection, I can taste it. 
Father, what you're doing is wrong! We can't let him absorb 18! <laughs> Where's your sense of pride? Don't you want to see how much stronger he can get? No! I've seen enough bloodshed and destruction in my future! My eyes! No! Stop! Eighteen! No! We're finally going to see this perfection of his. And better not disappoint, that's for sure. So there it is. Zell had finally absorbed Android 18 and achieved his perfect form. In a fit of rage, Krillin launched himself at Cell, but was effortlessly sidelined by Cell's newfound strength. Krillin, having been brought back from the brink of death thanks to a Senzu bean from Trunks, was overwhelmed by the power of Cell's perfect form. Vegeta, excited by the prospect of fighting a more worthy opponent, taunted Cell into continuing their fight. Cell calmly accepted Vegeta's challenge and prepared to engage him in battle once more. Achieving Perfection Would you care to take part in a little warm-up? Sure! A warm-up you won't survive! We'll see about that. From the looks of it, this perfect form of yours doesn't seem like it was worth the wait! Is that so? is moving in the opposite direction now. Why would that be? <laughs> Whatever. I think it's about time to kill you. 
What are you doing, Trunks? If you don't get in there, Vegeta's gonna die! My father would rather be defeated by Cell than have me, Goku, or anyone help him. He's that proud of a warrior. Hey, I, I get that, but still! If my father loses consciousness while fighting Cell, I'll step in. <laughs> Impressive. It looks like you're still holding on to what little life you got left. Allow me to put you out of your misery, Vegeta. Trunks. I'm gonna kill you, Cell. Quite a gutsy thing to say, Trunks. Krillin, take my father and get him out of here. Right, you got it. Power level, it's taking a massive dive. Cell's power level is through the roof. Uh, did he overpower Trunks? Uh, not good. Vegeta, come on, Vegeta, wake up! <sighs> but I'm rather disappointed in you and Vegeta. I expected more from you two. I mean, don't tell me this has been a waste of my time. Now, just one last question. It's interesting. Although it ultimately proved meaningless, you were able to greatly increase your power in a very short period of time. If you had more time, would you be able to power up even further? It's hard to say without actually trying. Why would you ask me something like that? <laughs> so it is a possibility. Next question. Why hasn't Goku shown his face yet? I mean, what could he possibly be doing that's more important than this? Goku is training to take you down. No matter what you do, he'll be ready to fight you tomorrow. If you're looking for a real challenge, and it sounds like you are, then Goku won't disappoint. Trust me. Glad to hear it. Then maybe I'll hold a little tournament. A... Uh, a tournament? Let's make it... Mm, 10 days from now. Say 12 o'clock? That should give you time to better your skills, if that's possible. No, what are you talking about? I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but there used to be a martial arts tournament known as the World Tournament. I think it's high time we brought that back. One small change, in this tournament I'll be the only opponent. I'll fight you one victim at a time, and if I win, the next challenger enters the arena and fights me, and then the next, and the next, until I'm the last one standing. I'll spread the word of the tournament, its rules and its location soon. Perhaps we can even have the whole thing televised. <laughs> what fun. Uh, wait, Cell! What's the point of holding a tournament? What's your end goal? The tournament will showcase my strength and true greatness, and plunging the world into terror will be a nice little bonus as well. And my end game is, I don't have one. I mean, maybe to have a little fun toying with you halfwits, destroying, tormenting, lording over you. But my real passion, of course, is, to see the look on people's faces as they cower and realize that all hope is lost. Ah. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you can do. After reviving Vegeta and Krillin with some Senzu beans, Trunks told them about the tournament Cell was planning to hold. Uh. A tournament? He's just toying with us! Damn him! I... I plan on entering the hyperbolic time chamber again, once Goku and Gohan are out. You and Kakarot will only get in the way. I will be the one to enter that room and finish this! Uh -huh. I... I too will enter the tournament. Please. 
Take me to the Capsule Corporation and have me repaired. I will prove useful. Are you crazy? You're one of Dr. Giroux's androids! Okay. I'll take you. Truth be told, we could use as many allies as we can get. Krillin. Relax, Trunks. I have a feeling this guy's not so bad after all. I mean, the two other androids Cell absorbed didn't seem that bad either. You said it yourself. These androids and history itself are different from what you know. <laughs> much stronger than I thought you would. It's pretty impressive. I hope so. It's hard to tell, though. But I gotta say, you haven't come close to reaching your full potential yet. You've got a lot more in you. I just know it. Really? What do you say? Think it's time to finish up our training? Finish it? Yep. Come at me with everything you've got. And don't hold back. Try your best to take your old man down, huh? Well, I can't do that. But I'll do what I can. Come on, Gohan. Let's see what you got. Show me. Okay. forget what that felt like. Right. Uh, but, Dad, we're probably gonna need more time before we go beyond Super Saiyan, don't you think? I mean, come on. I just learned how to become one, so I have no clue what I would even do to go further than that. I think I just might know what to do about that. Huh? We just need to get our bodies used to staying in the Super Saiyan form. What do you say? Think the two of us can manage that, Gohan? Staying in the Super Saiyan form? Yep. We treat Super Saiyan as our normal state of being. Do you understand? Anytime we're awake and moving around, that's the form we'll be in. First, we'll learn to control the more emotional aspects of the transformation. That makes the most sense, right? Then, once we do that, we'll start our training up again from the basics. This could work out. I know it's not exactly straightforward, but I really think this is our best shot at going beyond Super Saiyan. Uh, uh, okay. After informing Trunks of the tournament, Cell constructed an arena 
in a nearby deserted area. He then forced his way into a TV station and via live broadcast delivered his terrifying message to the entire world. His tournament, known as the Cell Games, would be open to all and begin in just nine days. Cell then declared that if all participants were to fail, he would eliminate all known life on the planet. In order to prove that he meant business about his threat, he easily reduced a section of the city to rubble. Cell's ultimatum proved effective in its purpose as the world had become utterly gripped in fear. Recent peace had weakened army and police forces, now powerless to confront the new enemy. People had already seemed to have forgotten about the young boy who had stopped the evil demon King Piccolo. They were also unaware of Vegeta, the Saiyans, and the others that fought Frieza on Namek. Goku was no more than a long forgotten memory. Damn that cell. This is just a game to him? No way. I can't believe he actually went on television and told everyone. If none of us can beat him, he's going to kill everyone on Earth. And now the whole world is panicking. I hope Goku and Gohan are almost done with their training. There are still three hours left before the full day is up. <laughs> no guarantee they'll come out after exactly one day. No need to rush. We've got nine days until the games. Huh? That's Goku and Gohan's energy. Are they out already? What? What are they... What are they doing out this early? What? Vegeta and Trunks? You guys are here too? Cell must still be alive. What happened? I can still sense his energy. Huh? That's Gohan. It looks so different. What? They're... They're still Super Saiyan? Wait. Something is different. They seem... calm. Someone get us up to speed on what's going on. Uh... Right. Here's what happened. The Cell Games, huh? So, he's holding a tournament. Honestly, that sounds kind of fun. Mr. Popo, you still got my uniform? Oh, yes, I have it right here. Mr. Piccolo, I'd like some new clothes too. Like yours. Sure thing. You're gonna look real good in this. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Piccolo. So, tell me, think you have what it takes to beat Cell? Not sure. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting him in this perfect form of his yet. Actually, I'll go do that now. Hmm. There we go. Oh, it's Goku. Yep, in the flesh. So what do you think, Goku? Are you willing to let the fate of your world be decided in this ring? Kind of small for something like that, wouldn't you say? <laughs> so that's your perfect form. Yes, yes indeed. You can count on me being here for the tournament. But until then, don't go killing anybody. Not one person, got it? We're gonna have a great match.
Man, he's gotten way stronger than I thought he would. So, Goku, what do you think? I'll be completely honest. I didn't think he'd power up as much as he did. Okay, so... I won't know for sure until I fight him, but... I'm probably not gonna be strong enough to beat him. Uh, no way! Then just go back into the hyperbolic time chamber. We've got the time. Nah, me and Gohan will train outside. We got nine days. We'll figure something out within that time. But why? You still haven't used up a full day. Why in the world would you waste one of the two days of your life you're allowed inside that chamber? Because that place can really put your body through the ringer, if you know what I mean. We could use some quality rest right now. Well, well, look at that. Even the mighty Kakarot wasn't nearly tough enough to handle the room. Fine. You might be right about that. But training there anymore wouldn't do us any good. But don't let me stop you. If you guys want to head back inside, go right on ahead. Besides, it looks like you could use some more training. What? You have some nerve. You don't actually think you're stronger than me now, do you? Don't make me laugh! Yeah, a lot stronger, actually. What? All right. Keep at it, you guys. See you all at the tournament, okay? Gohan, let's go. Oh, right. Only nine days remained until the Cell Games Tournament. Goku and Gohan returned home for some well-earned rest after their intense training. Here's the plan. We'll rest for three days, train for three days, and then rest another three. How does all that sound? Dad, uh, are you sure that's okay? You think we can beat Cell? Trust me, we'll be fine. Goku, I need you to come back to the house. Huh? Chi-Chi? Wha- 
왔는데 Damn you! Huh? No. Jeez. What now? Yes. Um. Hey. Over. I think it's time to train. Yeah. All right.
Guys over there, huh?
of energy. <laughs> we got a keeper. Yeah! 
might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Found some tasty looking food. <laughs> we got a keeper. All right. <laughs> I can tell this thing's got lots of energy. Baba can see what I'm doing in her crystal ball. Lucky! How that sound? I don't think anyone's on this thing. Washed up on shore. This thing's giving off a lot of energy. <laughs> we got a keeper.
love to join in again. Found some tasty looking food. Suit's hat. Yep, my head's not gonna fit. Yep. Thank you. What? 